Welcome to this week's Lit Family video. We're the Snape Lit Family, and this is our story. Hey, Julie. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry and there's no food. Oh, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and there's nothing to eat. Oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> this is a job for Beatitude Boy. Don't worry, be satisfied. Oh, thank you, Beatitude Boy. Matt, how many times do I have to tell you to just put your laundry away? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm too busy? It's not that hard. I've got homework. Just I've put your laundry it. away. I've got a pile on top it's of all easy. these things. You tell me that you're like taking care of the laundry. Oh my God. Guys, guys, don't fight. Do your laundry. Matt, Matt, there's all these Oh, the Beatitudes. Um, we struggled with kind of how to form a skit around this. Uh, and so we came up with Beatitude Boy. You know, there were lots of afflictions. Uh, we had someone who, um, you know, was mourning the loss of an iPad. We had someone who was um, hungry and thirsty. And we had someone who was keeping the peace. And through all of these situations, uh, Beatitude Boy came in and, and comforted them, uh, provided them, you know, a great blessing. And looking through the catechism and a few other things, we found that you know beatitude is a is a solemn blessing uh, directly from Jesus, and I think it goes even deeper than that. In that, um, it is basically a, a turn away from the things of this world, like the things that that we place our our happiness in, or our joy in, or our comfort in, and when those are taken away. Um, that can cause us to be sad, it can cause us to be hungry, it can cause us to fight or quarrel. However, there is a, a greater good, there is a greater blessing beyond what is of this world. And that's what that's what Jesus is saying. He says, you know, don't worry about the things, the, the afflictions, the uncomfortableness of this world, because I have so much more to give you in the world to come. Uh, furthermore, in looking at the Catechism, um, the Beatitudes actually kind of, it, it, it mirrors what God said to Abraham when he promised Abraham uh, the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Jesus is doing that now to us, but he isn't promising us a land on this, on this earth. He's promising us the kingdom of heaven. He's saying that, you know, through following me, um, you know, by receiving the, the blessing that I'm going to give you, the blessing that I'm going to give you isn't isn't a land flowing with milk and honey. It isn't the promised land. The blessing that Jesus offers us is the kingdom of heaven to be with Him forever. And so that's really what the Beatitudes are. And this, this is, is our story. story. Okay. Can we all say it together? Yeah. How are some ways that we can practice the Beatitudes just in our family? I feel like I am a peacekeeper. Oh, no! 25 times a day. There is constantly some, you know, quarrel or disagreement or, or someone is unhappy about something. And as a parent, I am constantly, you know, trying to, to keep the peace. Um, how can we as parents, um, you know, provide for those who are hungry and thirsty? I mean, just the ability to, you know, give our children their basic daily needs. Uh, you know, we're helping to practice uh, the Beatitudes. The Lord sees all this and he offers us our solemn blessing. So hopefully that's what the Beatitudes meant to us. Hopefully you got something from Beatitude Boy. The real Beatitude Boy, Jesus Christ, wants to bless all of you um, deeply. So uh, we thank you for tuning in to our video. Come join us in the great adventure of family at ilovemyfamily.us. We'll see you this Sunday in the Eucharist and know how truly and deeply God loves you.